Well, the motivation for the forum kind of started back in December of 2018 when the ASHA leader put out a couple of articles and their kind of overarching title was like diverging views on language disorders. And so that kind of focused the readers in on, okay, how do we look at this term specific language impairment and how do we view the term developmental language disorder with regard to these kids we serve who seem to have this very unique difficulty with language. For people in the public schools where terminology is paramount, we are sort of given nationally and then statewide, we're given terms to use that allow us to create eligibility for our students. But at the same time, I think we need to be aware of the opportunity to advocate for our students and to ensure that we identify them accurately. So while developmental language disorders may not make the policies and procedures at this point, I think it's worthy of a discussion because I think for the first time we are really talking about not just consistent communication, because that's been an issue for a long time, but we're talking about identification and advocacy. And so that is worthy of a discussion, whether the term is in the policy at this stage or not. I think when it comes to our research base, it is vastly important. And the insights that we've gained from the research in SLI are still important and relevant in what we do today. We wouldn't know much about what we do if we hadn't had that really specific work. So I think we need to keep our, our research base framed appropriately and use that as a resource, even if the terminology begins to change at, say, the, the more clinical and awareness and advocacy level. So I hope clinicians will take away that this is, this is something that's on the table. We need to understand the background. We need to understand the current issues. We need to consider the needs of our clients. And I think we can also be encouraged that there are some amazing inroads that are happening that could really change the world of the kids with whom we work have conversations about this, talk about it. What do you think? And how does it seem to impact your work? And that's a great way for us to just move forward with what we already have here in our knowledge base.